Great Britain snowboarder Katie Ormerod is out of the Winter Olympics after suffering a severely fractured right heel during training. She had already suffered a minor wrist break but had still intended to compete in the slope style event. As soon as I hit the floor I knew like instantly that it was a really, really bad injury. Like I was in like excruciating pain. And it is a bad break too, as you say, she's uh, been taken for emergency surgery in Seoul. And is out of these games. Words could not describe like how gutted I was, like it was just awful. I've had a few injuries. I've snapped my ACL, my meniscus on both knees, broken my shoulder, broken both arms, broke my back. So I finally uh, saw the x-ray and realised that um, it was actually quite a bad break, like I'd broke the bone into two pieces and um, I'd never seen anything like that before. I started snowboarding at the age of five. All my family were keen snowboarders and I grew up riding Halifax dry slope and Castleford snow zone. Throughout my whole childhood I balanced gymnastics and snowboarding, but I always knew I wanted to take snowboarding like further than gymnastics. At 16, I was the first woman in the world to land a backside double cock 1080. That's two full flips and one full spin. In January last year, I was the first British snowboarder to win a World Cup Big Air title. I was like really stoked. I get quite nervous before going into my trick, but I just try and like look around and keep myself moving so I don't get like too nervous and too worked up. I tell myself that I can do it and that I can land the trick. Just before I drop in, I always look to my coach and I say, I'll be fine, won't I? <laughs> he always looks at me and says, yeah. And then like, I just like have that reassurance, like the adrenaline kicks in and then I just go. <laughs> The trick I'm going to do is a cab 900, which is where you go into the jump with your other leg facing forward, so not your preferred leg, and you spin off the jump and you go around front side, which is where your front goes towards the jump, and you're spinning 900 degrees, which is like two and a half spins. When I'm learning a new trick, generally my coach will explain to me um, what it is and how I do it and then I will watch other riders doing it as well whether it's in real life or whether I look it up on the internet. I'll start on an airbag because it's like a lower risk impact and then once I've got the trick good on there I'll then take it to like another jump which is really really similar to the size of the airbag jump. Well I've been dreaming of competing at the Olympics for like as long as I can remember like this has always been my biggest dream so to like finally qualify and get here was like the best thing in the world and I just can't believe like how much bad luck I've had at the Olympics like I've never been so unlucky ever so it just sucks. I started to come to terms with it now like I realised it just obviously wasn't meant to be this time like it's really rare breaking two bones in two days so yeah it just wasn't meant to be. I'm feeling confident that I can come back even stronger. Hopefully I can do really well at 2022.